What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I have Ricky joining me who's a brand new mode of staffer and we're going to talk about the two most unique bowling balls in the current line. Maybe the two most unique balls I've ever thrown, the Tank Blitz and the Forge Flare. Stay tuned after the intro. All right, so the Tank Blitz and the Forge Flare do not have a whole lot of things in common, but one of the really big things that they do have in common is that they're both incredibly unique bowling balls. So in this video, we're gonna talk about what makes them unique, and then we're gonna show you on the lanes just how special these bowling balls are. If you guys are liking the content that I'm creating and wanna see more like this in the future, make sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you can stay up to date every time I drop a new video. The first ball that we're gonna talk about today is the Tank Blitz. And I think it's very important to say again that the Tank Blitz is not your thing, despite what a lot of people think and still say to this day. The Tank Blitz has the gear core, which like I've always said, has those magic numbers. It has a RG of 2.48, which is on the lower side, so the ball's gonna to wanna to get into a roll fairly early. And then it has a differential of 0.034, which is kind of in that medium middle of the road as far as flare potential. Wrapped around that gear core is the Frixium Plus Microcell cover, which again, is not urethane. The Microcell cover does absorb oil, unlike urethane, but at a fraction of the rate of, tr of traditional reactive resin. A simple eye test can determine that the Tank Blitz is not a urethane ball. Just watching that ball go down the lane one time, you can tell that it is not a urethane ball. What makes this Tank Blitz so unique is that it does have a lot of the same characteristics as urethane without any of the downfalls really. The Tank Blitz wants to get into a roll very early because of that cover, very similar to urethane. Urethane balls are very early, but where urethane balls typically roll forward once they encounter the friction, the Tank Blitz does not do that. The Tank Blitz gets into the friction and absolutely goes left. It continues so hard and then when you put it next to urethane, it's laughable. The next ball that we're gonna talk about is the Forge Flare, and I have been throwing this Forge Flare non-stop since we get it. It is quickly turning into one of my favorite bowling balls. The Forge Flare has the detonator weight block, which has an RG of 2.47, which is very, very low, so the ball's gonna to wanna to get into a roll very early. And then it has a max differential of 0.055, which is on the very, very high end. So the ball's gonna produce a lot of flare, and the more flare means it has a higher hook potential. The Forge Flare has the Coercion MXC solid reactive cover, and it comes out of the box at a 2000 grit laser scan sand. What makes the Forge Flare so unique is that I have never seen a bowling ball that is this early and shapes down lane. Now, obviously I've seen bowling balls that are as early as the Forge Flare, but not one of them creates the shape down lane that the Forge Flare has. And then obviously we've seen bowling balls that shape a ton down lane, but none of them are as early as the Forge Flare. This ball sticks to the lane like glue and then absolutely turns left or right if you're left-handed. So this video is extra special because these are Ricky's first bowling balls since signing with Motive. Let me know down below in the comments if you have a Tank Blitz or a Forge Flare and what you think of them so far, or if you're considering adding either one of them to your bag. I'm gonna take you guys out on the lanes now so you can see the Tank Blitz and the Forge Flare in action. Thank you guys for joining Ricky and myself as we give you guys a comparison between arguably the two most unique bowling balls on the market today, the Tank Blitz and the Forge Flare. Now, as always, we're gonna show you every single shot that we threw in the session, the good shots and the bad. It is the only way to show you a true comparison is by showing you the shots that strike as well as the shots that don't strike. If all we did was show you the good shots and the strikes, oh, yeah. we can make any bowling ball look absolutely amazing. Now in this video, this is literally the first time that Ricky is throwing the Tank Blitz and the Forge Flare. Now obviously I've thrown the Tank Blitz and the Forge Flare significantly more than Ricky has, so I already had an idea of where to play, especially here at South Point. Ricky was way too far to the right to start. I think the ball's hooked a lot more than what he was expecting. For me, the Forge Flare is like the ultimate bowling ball. It wants to get into a roll very early, but still produces down lane motion. So because of that, for me personally, it's a very good option on the fresh just because of how early it is, but it's also a very good option if you need to get left early while there's still a lot of volume on the lanes because it still creates that motion down lane. Now, when I asked Ricky what he thought about the Forge Flare, he said, and I quote, I feel like this ball never quits. The farther left I went, 
the more continuous it was. And that's absolutely what I saw from him. The further left he got, the ball wanted to hook more and more and more. It was, I mean, to me, it was very impressive. And I'm glad that he matched up so well with his first two motive balls that he had. Ultimately, what makes the Forge player so unique is just how much down lane motion it creates for how early it is. Since I've been bowling, you either had a ball that was early or a ball that shaped down lane. You rarely ever see, or I've never seen a ball that was early and shaped down lane. And then the tank blitz is just pure comedy to watch. Anyone who thinks that this ball is urethane needs only to watch anyone. I mean, especially Ricky. Ricky is literally sliding near the left gutter, throwing it to the right gutter, and the ball is running over the A pin. For me as a player who's a little bit straighter and more up the lanes, what makes the tank blitz unique for me is that it has a lot of the similarities or the characteristics to urethane that it wants to get into a roll very early and be very controlled in the front part of the lane. But once it encounters friction, the ball goes absolutely left, unlike urethane. Now, I'm a fan of traditional urethane bowling balls. I like when I can trap the ball up the lane. But a lot of times what happens for me is that as I get left, I have to ball change out of something. And then the, the difference between urethane and reactive resin is so huge that it's hard to make that ball change. What I've noticed for me since I've been throwing the tank blitz and the desert tank is that when I ball change from microcell to traditional reactive resin, that change is so much smoother and so much easier to do. What impresses me the most about both of these bowling balls, the Forge Flare and the Tank Blitz, is that Ricky and I are two completely different players. Ricky likes to shape the ball, has a much higher rev rate, and he's really forward rolling, while I'm a little bit more off the side and play significantly straighter. But both of these bowling balls, in my opinion, look amazing for both of us. I'm, I'm playing them at least 15 boards to the right of where Ricky is, and both of the bowling balls, we were able to strike with them almost at will, and the ball went through the pins really well from a multitude of different angles. So when I recommend a bowling ball to a bowler, it makes it that much easier knowing that both the Forge Flare and the Tank Blitz are so versatile that I can recommend it to someone who has a higher rev rate or someone who has a little bit lower of a rev rate. Because these bowling balls are so versatile, I think that pretty much any style of bowling can see success with these bowling balls. Oh, if you're someone who has a higher rev rate, oh, typically these strong bowling balls aren't very good for you because they tend to not shape down lane. So if you have a higher rev rate, I'm really, really recommending this Forge Flare because it's gonna shape down lane. Ricky had no problem moving left and getting the ball to shape down lane. And then if you're one of those higher rev rate bowlers, something like a tank blitz could be a amazing tool to have in your bag because you're gonna be able to play a little bit straighter, you're gonna be able to play a little bit more up the lane, get the ball into a roll early, and then really shred the rack. And then if you're someone who's on the lower side of rev rate, the forge flare is going to be your absolute best friend because you're gonna see a ball motion that you've never been able to see before in your hands. And then the tank blitz, because the cover is so strong, if you're a lower rev rate player, maybe you have a little bit higher of a ball speed, it's going to be a really good option because you're not going to be able to overthrow the tank blitz, meaning you're not going to miss your, your mark fast because that cover is so strong. So for me personally, the tank blitz is easily in my top two or three greatest bowling balls ever for short oil patterns. And it's also a house shot killer. So when you have that kind of versatility out of a bowling ball, that's a really, really good thing. And then the Forge Flare is really, really good on those heavier patterns, like let's say the shark pattern where it's like 45, 47 feet, where you wanna keep your angles a little bit more in front of you, and then you have a bowling ball that you know is gonna be able to dig through that oil, but still shape down lane. That's what makes the Forge so special. Join me in the comments and congratulating Ricky on joining the Motive team. Until next time, guys, stay motivated. Well, there you have it, folks. There's my in-depth analysis between the Forge Flare and the Tank Blitz. Let me know down below in the comments if you want to see more videos like this in the future. Click right here to watch my other videos. Click right here to subscribe. Till next time, guys.